All right. So in our last video, uh, we were talking about lipids and we got into a discussion of fatty acids and basically the, the kind of hierarchy uh, and organization of lipids. Um, this is going to be our continuation of lipids. And this is arguably going to be the closest that we can get to not necessarily a, a polysaccharide, but the aggregate, the big structure that lipids put together. And this is going to be all about membranes. Okay, so lipid membranes. These are sheet-like structures. And I think that that's a very good way to describe it, um, a, a sheet. And uh, they are basically two molecules thick. Now, keep in mind what a molecule of a lipid looks like. We've got a triacylglycerol, and then we've got that polar head group. Um, what these are going to do is they're going to form closed boundaries. Uh, these are non-covalently assembled. So at the center of them, if you look over uh, to your figure on the right-hand side, that's where you're going to see kind of a yellowish, that yellowish uh, region. <laughs> that is the hydrocarbon tails of fatty acids, of triacylglycerols, of glyceroposphylipids. Um, like I said, they're non-covalent assemblies. They're asymmetric in that the outer surface is always going to be different from the inner surface. So this, um, what's displayed outwards is not going to be the same as what's on the inner portion of it. Now, the term lipid bilayer is one that if you're not already familiar with, you should become familiar with it. So we've got a pair of sheets, basically. So I've got two pieces of paper at my disposal. This one right here is going to be one sheet of my lipid. This is going to be the other ship or this is going to be the other sheet of my uh, lipid bilayer. So these are my two sheets. Now, everything that's exposed out here, this is the outside of my cell. It's going to be different from what's displayed down here on the underside. Um, we have two important terms that you should be familiar with, the inner leaflet and the outer leaflet. And those basically are the inner leaflet is the side of the lipid bilayer that is closest to the interior itself. And the outer leaflet is that which is displayed outside of the cell. Um, they're fairly fluid structures. Whenever I think of a lipid bilayer, I always think of, if you've ever been to a water park, um, they have a wave pool and it's kind of like a, there's a lot of motion to it. Um, Another way to think about it is if you've ever seen a waterbed, whenever I was a kid, those were a thing. I don't, I don't know that they really exist very much anymore. Uh, but they have some mobility. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that it's still like intact. It's just got lots of mobility, lots of motion to it. Um, what these lipid bilayers are going to do is they're going to prevent the outside from getting in. So it's going to keep the outside out and keep the inside in. Uh, they're going to prevent specifically movement of polar or charged molecules. Now, they are electrically polarized, which means that the charge of all of the species outside is going to be different from that of everything that is inside. These are composed so that the makeup of a lipid bilayer or of a membrane is we've got lipids, proteins, and uh, either of which can be decorated with or kind of modified to also have carbohydrates. Now, we use proteins to allow movement of molecules and information across the cell membrane. So what that means is that there are small molecules that are going to migrate from one side to the other, uh, and proteins are going to largely facilitate that. There are some things that can move across a lipid bilayer, but there are kind of few and far between. Now, this is a good depiction of a lipid bilayer. Let's imagine that this, so what we've got here is we've got a bunch of water molecules right here, because keep in mind that we're talking about an aqueous environment. There's water molecules down here as well. So these are going to be water molecules as well. Now this right here is kind of my bilayer. The gray, uh, the gray region in the middle, that's going to be your hydrocarbons. Um, and then everything above that is your polar head group. So here and here, respectively, are where your polar head groups are going to be found. But this is a good depiction of a lipid bilayer. And one reason that I think that it's a good depiction is it looks totally chaotic. It's chaotic, but 
within the center of this image, do you see any water molecules? No, you don't. It's chaos, but it's kind of controlled chaos in some respects. So this is a good depiction of what a lipid bilayer can consist of. We have our cytosol on the lower side and then the exterior of the cell on the upper side. That would correspond to our inner and outer leaflets. 